Well, it's raining again. What a surprise. But I've got this. <laughs> Fuel pump solenoid switch. Doesn't look very big, doesn't look very important. Trust me, it is. And this goes in our Tactica. One of the good thing about a Tactica is, um, well, basically, it's all kind of common bits. So uh, with this, we'll be back working again, beautifully. Here he is, one of my yard monkeys. My best yard monkey. <laughs> yes, we had a little tinkle with the Tactica yesterday and um, by disconnecting a wire or two, we could have it so the solenoid was off all the while and it would start. I don't know if I'll be able to get my spanner in though. You did say it cut down the spanner. Ah, right. Well, cut down one of the Dan's. He won't care. Um, so, no, with that um, little stop thing, we can actually have it stopping and starting rather than we have to go in and put your hand over the air filter. And uh, also, the alternator was playing up. We put another alternator on it, and now it's got um, full boost. Um, it's changing gear and everything, and it's all coming back to life. Funny, isn't it? You can put a new battery on a vehicle, but if your alternator's not charging, some electrical systems won't run properly. It's a big beast. It's a Perkins, isn't it, darling? Yeah, I think a Perkins Phaser. A Perkins Phaser? Yeah. Oh, that was a very popular engine, wasn't it? Yeah, in the, power in, in the in the 70s. <laughs> no, a phaser, yeah, it's plenty of power in it. Uh, they were talking about um, off-road tyres. Well, it is a bit muddy where this is going, so maybe it wants those um, li literally kind of dumper truck tyres with the uh, incredibly uh, knobbly, the cleated tyres, that's what you need. Yes, the lard is looking rather full, and I don't like extra full. Here's another wheels come back. Any of you people need wheels? Ho, ho, ho. And you know what? We get them, uh, the rubber peeled off, we get them sandblasted, we get them done in a more tough rubber than um, the originals. They got six times the wear life, and they only charge us a fiver, a fiver a wheel, and they deliver them and they pick them up. Yeah, and they take me out to dinner and do things to me body. It's great, isn't it? A fiver a wheel. Can't go wrong. Yeah, fiver a wheel. Well, that looks a lot better. There you go. You can't have pitting in your bits of webbings. By the time that's cleaned up, it'll look lovely. But it was even strong. It's got to be, I mean, we can't have Heiko doing his piece of fine art on there. And then, it, like that could yeah. be its nose. Yeah. It could be anything. It's a bit of a Picasso. <laughs> it could be his, yeah. 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 You never know. So, uh, yeah, we're going to put a plate in there and it'll be beautiful. And when someone bids on it and it makes a million and a half, I might want them to be satisfied and know they've got good value for money. Right, let's go and have a look at a Tactica because apparently they've been tinkering with it. Lots of tinkering. Now, I really want to get some jobs done on it, but it's just the way the Coke bottle effect has happened. Look, can't spray that today, mate. Ain't nothing happening spray-wise on the tanks today. So it's been things like fitting number plates and uh, stuff like that, and I'll put the lights in later, and I'm doing the trim work, which is coming on really nicely. I know there's pen, but it doesn't matter, it's being sprayed green, so it matches the rest. But it's the right type of material, and it's the right thickness and size. So that will look very authentic. Woo! Hey, Martin is doing a cameo visit, and uh, he's going to have a bit of a tactica run. He's swapped the... Um, injector pump stop solenoid he has replaced the alternator he has replaced the battery oh, oh, oh look at that we've, we've sold this to the rock the rock's buying it oh look at that look, look at that It'd make a nice shopping vehicle wouldn't it after the apocalypse yeah when the war starts in europe in about uh, with nato in about two weeks time um, this might be my shopping vehicle <laughs> Look at that, what a peach. It's not, oh, apparently the Mercedes is mine to run over. Ho, ho, ho. Beep, 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 beep. Not the Range Rover, not the Range Rover. No, we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Now, we just want to see it go up through the gears. It's got an auto box. And uh, that wouldn't change because it wasn't running on full voltage. A lot of things that have got electronics, if you haven't got the right voltage, it just shuts down. And with an alternator running, regardless of how powerful your battery was, 
it doesn't want to play. There. Okay, wind her up. Rum, rum, rum. That means fast. It'd be funny if he's hit his own van, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, got to be a bit careful. Um, I think we'll put some tray plates on it very shortly and take it out for a bloody good thrash up the road. Which I have done many months ago when we first got it, but then we got sidetracked. And that's how it happens, you get sidetracked. Oh look, we've got a brake right now. But it's got a reversing light, so life's not that bad. Yeah, looking good. Obviously the power steering's rather good. Because you wouldn't steer it otherwise. It wants some big knobbly off-road tyres really. They do a four-wheel drive and a two-wheel drive. And this is the two-wheel drive, but it has a lock-in diff, which gives it a lot more speed. Hey, we'll have a little look inside. Look at the splendor. And then I'll show you in the back, because everyone wants to see in other people's back door. There. I'm just opening up your back door, Martin. <laughs> there you go, look at that, look. It's sort of like in, in denim, and it's got nice holes in the side so you can be sick out of. Great big air conditioning unit, and uh, it's got racks there for your SA80s. Bit worrying, this was a police vehicle. Yeah, lots of seating, and that there, I suppose that's where you put your police dog, in that cage. Yeah, nice vehicle. A nice vehicle. Uh, the door closes a bit like a gulf. That's what I like. Clonk. Okay, park her up. I think that's enough. Now I can send this off to the man who wants to buy it. And he'll know that um, in just one day we've addressed many issues. And she's probably ready to go. Yeah, I'm sure The Rock wants it. This is where you actually see it's got brakes. It doesn't roll straight into the front of them. Four, three, two. What a wagon. Um, we ought to do something with this store walk. We had someone interested in buying it. So um, we checked it all over, changed the filters, oil, did an oil change on it, put 200 quid's worth of fuel in it, actually tinkered with the brakes, the air pack, and it was all working. Everything's working, everything's swimming already, twiddly diddly. And then uh, the deal didn't happen. That's not good. That's not good at all. There's an isolator on these. So as when you finish running them, you can open the back the uh, bonnet. You don't really want to let the bonnet go. Otherwise <laughs> it's really spring loaded. Like, it takes a good man. Like, oh, and then you find you catch your nipple in it. Yeah, you could get your nipples in it, can you? Yeah, imagine a large breasted woman closing that bonnet. They'd never do it, would they? Nah, there'd be a lot of screaming anyway. Whatever's he doing, I don't know. New bearings. Yeah. Ah. And, um, well, um, 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 uh, oh dear. Now, it's the moment of glory, but I managed to stick me padding in the turret. Now, maybe I can spray that padding, but I sure as hell can't spray any of the tank. There's sopping in water. It looks like we've got a leaky roof, but we haven't. That's just condensation. And I hoped the temperature would equalise about seven o'clock today, but it ain't going to happen. So we can do work, but we can't do paint, which is a shame, because this is so close now. But uh, yes, we've got to do the bits of padding up there. Now, I'm quite pleased with that. I'm not worried about the colour being different and the pen on it, because when it's that dried, I'll kind of clean it up and that'll be sprayed the same colour as this. So that'd be good. And this one too. It's not 100% accurate. I call it very original looking. And again, I'll clean that up and that'll be painted as well. And it will look very, very authentic. Woohoo! Um, top of the turret needs painting, but the rest I think is done. So I can put the, uh, the trough cover back on and start putting on some of the external fittings. And that's always nice. 
Everyone likes putting the little bits on at the end. 